I'm Bob Stern. I am an architect. I'm New York born and bred, and I'm thrilled to be the architect of 30 Park Place. Being able to build a dream kind of building for me, that is the tall, skyscraping apartment houses in New York, has been amazing. I'd always wanted to do those kinds of buildings. 30 Park Place, being the slender tower right next door to the Woolworth building, wow, what a fabulous opportunity. I'm Larry Silverstein. I'm a real estate developer here in New York. Bob, better than most, understands luxury. I think he's the, the best architect. If you really want to build a first class quality luxury product, he's honed his skills and the sensitivity to such degree that the final product he produces is as good as you can possibly get, particularly in a high rise. He's got a, uh, a great sense and the finished product is the proof of the pudding. So I'm kind of curious from each of your perspectives, the, the real estate one and the architectural one, how, how, are you, how have you viewed these changes, especially over the past 30 to 40 years, but really in, over the course of each of your careers? The changes that have taken place since those days have been so extraordinary. When you stop to think about what has happened, I'm 85 years of age, at least as of yesterday I was 85. So I think back to what's happened in the, since I was five or six years of age, and I had some kind of memory. The transformation of this city has been nothing short of remarkable. I think I've ruined a great number of apartments uh, in the Upper East and West Side, which for my sins I'd like to be invited back, put the walls back in, put the moldings back on, um, and so forth. But that was the way I, I moved into the world of architecture. And I also began to teach. I look back now, I've been in this business now for about 60 years, and I realize that Every once in a while, someone would come along and give you a, a price for your real estate that was seemed to be exceptionally high. Had we kept all of those buildings, I uh, would have done much better uh, by virtue of just holding on to them because the value of those buildings has exceeded anything we ever dreamt uh, they would achieve by way of value. So it's, it's another long way of saying never sell if you can avoid selling. I'm just curious, what's your take on the term Stark Attack, Bob? Well, since Stern means star, it's perfectly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. <laughs>